You gonna put your, you gonna put your tongue in my butt? I might do more than that. So how many bodies would I need to have in order for you to take me serious? How you, how you feel about one night stands? I'm so sorry, number one. Thank you. Damn. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that rolling through. Oh, my God. It was you. I did not know it was you. Why is it okay for men to have it's like a lot of bodies, but it's not okay for a woman? Listen, like, why? So, you need a front door of your house, right? Yeah. So, like, there's a bunch of keys in the world, and like, only one really fits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, imagine a bunch of keys fitting as one door. <laughs> Yo, too, bro. What's good? It's Marzi. I'm back with another video. I took a little break, but it's cool because we're back in motion. But I got this little video we going. It's 10 creators versus one influencer. Introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. I am T Nam. Y'all, a lot of people know me as Harriet Tugman. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, I'm saying you already know, um, but no, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to see the contestants and everything like that. And I'm just ready. Thanks for having me, buddy. I'm Thanks good. for having me. Buddy. You feel me? Hey, look, we about to find our match. Uh, let's get started with the video. My man, my man, yeah. What? Thank you to my you. Man. No, I need my man. I just need my man. Thank you to my man. Oh, my man. Thank you to my man. Yeah, hey, 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 let's get started. <laughs> All right, no, no, no. They don't. You don't get to see them. Oh, what well, that's blind. Just oh, say my name or something? Yeah, you feel me? Just introduce yourself. Let, let her know who you is. And where I'm from? Yeah. All uh, right. I'm real. I'm from Pittsburgh. I can't hear you, Rail. You can't hear me? Not really. I'm real from Pittsburgh. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, that's it? You ain't like... You yeah, that's all you got for <laughs> Oh, what you, you just saying? Introduce. What you want me to say? I, I, hey. What you do? Like, oh, well, you all right, you right. You're right. You're right. I'm real from Pittsburgh. Okay. What's your name? My name is Monet. It's nice to, nice to uh, you know, talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. What, what you do for a living? Well, you know, I pretty much get paid for social media. I'm a big influencer on social media, and that's pretty much it. That's how I pay my bills. What do you do? Yeah, I'm CEO. Got a box Young truck. CEO. Yeah, got a box truck company. Entrepreneur. Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay, because that's the number two. How you doing? Hi. Uh, my name is Mel. I'm from Alani. I just started doing content in like April and like- You have to talk up. I... We can't hear you. Oh, my foot. My name is Mel. I'm from Alani. I just started doing content in like April. So I'm new to that, but I do construction for like everyday work. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's what's up. How you feel about construction niggas? Like... I mean, I really feel like they only get paid when it's a job that needs to be done. And it's not like an everyday job, but it's still a good job. Uh, I, I work, a... but I don't work like, regular like job job like contract construction i work like corporate construction oh okay okay yeah. right. money I, that's, that's all i heard okay, is money that's all i heard is money next one <laughs> next yeah, Larry, you be cooking my name my name is caesar um 23 i'm a young entrepreneur i do real estate and i'm an influence on the uh, social media thing too great i like your name you have a great name i appreciate that that's, that's it. That's all I got. I mean, that's the only compliment I got like that. I mean, you do the influencer stuff the same way I do the influencer stuff. You're a young entrepreneur. One thing I really will say is that I like people who are trying to do their own thing. Okay. I'm not really into I, I don't mind a nine to five, but I really feel like a nine to five ain't you know, okay. just working for other people. So I really like that. Thank you. I'm mm -hmm. um, green to go. 75. Then stop glazing. Nigga like that. Nigga like 85. Who's going next, guys? Oh, it's me, my bad. Number four. It hey, was going on. My name Andre. I'm from Southwest Philly. I'm an artist. You know, I make music. My name, like on the Instagram, is Kaz and everything. You rap or you sing? I do a little bit of both. You know, I like to expand, try you different sing things. For me? I'm gonna sing for you. Unless no. need be. I can't. We can't on our own time. Now on our own time. <laughs> I don't know if I like them. Go pick somebody else. You might pick somebody else. Well, you know what I'm saying we gonna rap. We gonna see what's up. What she say? Let me get a little. Let me in. You wanna hear something? Yeah. A little sign sign. Oh, all right, bet, bet, bet. Nah, I ain't on that. I ain't on that time. What you say? Oh, right. you shy? Oh, you a shy? Oh, you be a shy? All right. I do like to sing and rap stuff. I do like to sing and rap stuff. Next. Huh? I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. Number five. Number five. Oh, man, she's uh, nah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Number five. Hold on. 
My name Gil and I do construction. You might What's your name? Wait, what, what's your name? Yeah, Okay. And what do you do? What do you do for fun? All right. So you just get into whatever. Okay. All right. Contestant number six. Number six. Yeah, my name is Five. I'm from North Philly. Like and the number five? Like four, five? Yeah. Okay. I'm from North Philly, and I'm a professional driver. I got a CDL. I just be on the interstate all day. So you drive the trucks? Uh, so you drive them locally? The way, are you a truck driver, or are you like a race car driver? You said professional driver. Race car driver, but- oh, you drive race cars. But, but I, I drive, what I drive is like CDL material. You feel me? Like, and you race in the CDL truck? The 18-wheeler. You race in the 18-wheeler. That's what you're telling me. Race car, race car. No, <laughs> I don't race in the I don't race in the CDL truck. Okay, all right. I, it, it was I was good. I just said I, I just said I just said I have a CDL, but I'm a professional driver. Okay, all right. Sorry, I, I didn't I didn't get that. Number seven. Yo, my name Legacy. Uh, I do the content, and I own a brand. I like you, Legacy. Thank you. That's it, right? Yeah. All right. Bring it back to one. Number one. Yeah. You have some questions? Yeah. All right. Sometimes I get in the mood where I don't have the energy for sex, but I still want to be pleased. <laughs> Meaning you got to lick my thing. Would that be a problem? Hell no, I'm with it. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, let's get in. Because sometimes... As long as it's clean, though, it got to be clean. It got to be clean. What? And no smell. No, boy, please. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. go to the back and you can find out. Come on. Yeah. Number two. She ain't ready for that. All right. Oh, no, no, no. He's gonna ask me the same question. All right. Number, number two. <laughs> same question. Or I, can, I can repeat it for you if you want me to, though. Uh, can you repeat it, please? Yes. Sometimes I get in a mood where I don't have energy for sex, but I still want to be pleased. Yeah. Will that be a problem for you? And if it is a problem, I need to know why. No, I eat the box and all that, and like we could go further than that once we get to know each other. So what if I'm that? not in the mood to even suck your joint? But you, I, like, if, <laughs> so if I'm not in the mood for that, you not going to eat me up? No, I'm not selfish though. Like oh, we can improvise. Like, we'll we figure it out. Improvise though, like, like, like she's saying, if, she if she's not good this time, you feel me? Oh, she boy, might catch me on another. Time. You ain't even got the question, my joint. No, I'm, I'm, not, saying, I'm not. I ain't even mean it right like that. that. I'm, I'm saying. No, right I'm now. saying. That's what I'm saying. You don't feel like doing it right now. I, you know what I'm saying, take one for the team and get her right for the. You feel me? Hell no. She just come get me on the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Contestant number three, same question. Sometimes same I get in the question. mood. I need you to repeat that for me, please. Yes, yeah, sure. Sometimes I get in the mood where I don't have energy for sex, but I still no, want to. I'm trying to give me a box. Would that be a problem for you? I'm going to keep it a bean. It's not really a problem, but it all depends on like how you go about it. You know what I'm saying? So how would somebody go about not? So like as far as like you telling me and or asking me, you feel what I'm saying? So like if you're not in the mood, it's all about how you deliver it, how you telling me, you feel me? Like if you demanding it, I don't know about that, cause like, like you said, if you ain't in the mood to do a little things, I ain't in the mood to do a little thing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Type shit. So it's all about respect with you. You know, you respect me, I respect you, type of thing. Type yeah. shit. Okay, that's understandable. I like that. Um, number four. Do you need me to repeat the question, or are you good? Nah, I'm green. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm definitely like on the pleasing type time, but at the same exact time, like, as long as the energy coming back around full circle, we cool. It don't matter to me. I'm sorry, I can't really hear you. I said I'm definitely on a pleasing type time, but as long as the energy come back around like full circle, we green. Like it's cool. Yeah, it's just that not every day I'll, I'll be wanting to do it. You know, men, y'all, y'all, y'all be wanting to do it every day on the hour. You know, every day I don't want to do it. All the time, especially if I'm looking at you, I can't even help myself. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna talk this afterwards. I like him. All nigga, right. That nigga trying too hard. Number five. I'm sorry. If I'm not in the mood, I'm not. In, I don't. I, I don't have the energy to have sex with you, but I still want to be pleased. Will that be a problem for you? Not at all. And I might do some shit that other men ain't doing. Okay. What you like, like what? Like, like what? what you gonna do? Like suck my toes? You gonna suck my toes? You gonna put your? You gonna put your tongue in my butt? I might do more than that, but that's here and there. All right. <laughs> Give him the bad time. He said, like, "Wait a second. Wait a minute." <laughs> Why at this point? Like, what you? 
Nah, that's the nasty oh, nigga. Oh, oh, DJ, I was thinking nigga in the air and she. Number six, same question. Shit. <laughs> It depends on how much money I made today. Like, if I'm, <laughs> like, I'm a kid at being like, oh, you were selfish. That's not selfish, cause guess what I'm spending it on you. So, so if I'm in the mood, you in the mood. We both not gonna be in the mood. Like, how, how I gotta edge you? Listen, you listen, like, listen. If I ain't in the mood, I ain't doing shit but try and make some money. That's all I'm saying. If I'm in the mood, I got you. But what if I'm? What if I'm not in the mood, but you are in the mood? I'm gonna put you in the mood. Give you some. You so you I'm gonna you you probably buy you some food. <laughs> probably buy you some food or something. Everything revolve around money. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm gonna put you in the mood. Okay, but he is right about that. He is right about that. Okay, number seven. Same question. I ain't gonna lie. You my lady. I'm gonna eat that thing off the bone. So yeah, like, yeah. like. <laughs> you gonna make my day better, right? Got you gonna to. Turn my Got to, bro. Yeah. Yeah, because like if I ain't doing it, somebody else that's will. That's legacy, ain't it? Mm-hmm, that's the one. All right, next one. Not somebody getting eliminated. Oh, somebody gotta go? Yeah. Who going? Hmm. I'm so sorry, but I don't know which, I don't know if it was number three or if it was number four, but he was getting smart and I ain't like that. Yeah, what did he say? Four. He was getting sassy with me. I don't like no sassy ass me and he gotta go. He gave me his, he gave me his ex- explanation with his little, it was like a two. Yeah, number four, I'm sorry. Now that wasn't number four. That was, that was, that was four. That was number three. Oh, you're talking about the one that, wait, wait, the one that was supposed to rap? Yes, the one that was supposed to rap got to go. The one that was supposed to rap got to go. All right, wait, wait. Damn, damn gang. Oh, shit, he put the ground me the fuck up. What's up, what's up? I can turn the radio. Yeah, I'm not coming to you. How you doing? Hey. How are you? I'm good. I just eliminated you because I'm just, I don't know if you can tell from my personality. I have a, I, I'm not afraid. I'm not shy. And if you was to ask me to sing or if you was to ask me to do anything, I would have did it right then and there. Yeah, you want to nah. hear a little one, two? I got the one, two. Give me one, two right now. Tell me, nigga, what you want me to do. I'll do anything for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> see, I like that type of vibe. <laughs> See? Hey, y'all didn't just see that. See? Hey, look. I don't mind. I don't Hold on. I'll even give you a rhyme right there. Like, you just, uh, uh. Oh, look. You- this is the thing, right? I could have given you a rhyme, but why would I give you a rhyme that everybody else going to hear? I could do something else. We could free some, give you something a little different. Okay. You My, a little private. Uh, I get that. Yeah. So, right. I go though, bro. I'm That's sorry. Crazy, I just, man. you know, I okay. That was number three, though. That was me. Oh, you so you so sit down. You so sit down. You so sit down. Another side. Yeah, I like your outfit. That's your fire. Thank you. All right. How do you feel about open relationships? Because I'm going to say this right now. I like girls and I like guys, so I might want to add a girl on to the thing. But I just want to know how you feel. And be honest. You know, like if you into open relationships, cool. But if you want to cheat on me with the little person that we add to the relationship, let me know. So how you feel? I'm with that. Let's go. Where's she at? Will I be able to trust you if we have an open relationship? Yeah. So wait. So an open relationship is when you go with it. So he would have... That's he, what we that do. Mean, that means he could, he could mess with somebody. Yeah, too. I'm cool. She's thinking of Apollo. Okay. We can do she, that. She's thinking of Apollo. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm cool with Okay, that. an open relationship, though, is like if I meet a person and I want to mess around with them, I can mess around them, and he can mess around with them, too. We can mess around yeah, together. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, how do you feel about that? So if I want to be with another man tomorrow, because that's an open relationship. That's what I'm saying. Damn, I don't know. If, if, if I like you like that, I don't know about you with another man, but another oh, female, man. yeah. But you don't, you don't, so... Another man is another So another man, I can't yeah. go out and do no. my own thing with another man. No. But you can go out and do your own thing with another woman. We gonna do it together. All right, okay, I like that. All right, number two. <laughs> How do you feel about open relationships? I'm not gonna lie, like, if I like you, you can't have no open relationship Here with no me. niggas. But with the about. girls, you can run your movie. Cause like, I'm not against it. But like the niggas, if I like you, I'm gonna be teed. Cause like, why are you dealing with other niggas? How am I know I'm gonna be able to trust you if I give you a threesome and we have a good time? You're not gonna go text the girl behind Cause we bought, cause we could set them boundaries before we even get there. Okay, I like that. Number three. I'm not insecure, but like if I like a bitch and she got another nigga, I'm gonna be hurt. It's cool. And it happened. I was with this boy. I would much rather lose my bitch to a bitch. That girl was my chewing me up. He ain't chewing no, me up the way she chewed me up. He was going. Bro, I, ra- I would rather lose my bitch to a bitch. Bro, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. Y'all, number three. No. 
Me and Romy Chalupa. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, wait, yo, yo. What's that, dude? What's wrong with that? Yo, yo. Yo, next mic. Next. Number three. How do you feel about open relationships? Meaning, you could do what you do, we could do what we do together, and occasionally I do what I want to do. But I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to lie in here, bitch. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you. Do we plan on getting married at any point in time? I mean, I don't date to not marry. I date to be serious. I'm grown out here. All right, listen, this is what I'm going to break it down to you, right? Because like you said, I'm a social media influencer, content creator. Right. You feel me? So what I do is like the little OnlyFans and shit like that. So if you down to make money off that with me, we good. Okay, I like that. I like that. Do you show your face on your OnlyFans or do you have a mask? It's, it's a mixture of both. Okay, so you be fucking with the Spider-Man mask one sometimes. So Listen, you got role play. You got to get down to it. If you're going to do it, you got to have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Okay. I like that. Number five. I mean, honestly, I feel like sharing is caring. Because, like, if I can share a bitch, why not? <laughs> so you don't care. You don't. So you don't care if one day, like, let's say I'm humping on you Monday through Thursday, and it's the weekend, I'm out with my girlfriends, and I meet a man, you know, and I, and I slip up because we're in an open relationship. You're not going to be in your feelings. You're not, if I come home, you're not going to try to start an argument with me? Not at all. We too grown for that. Uh, okay. We ain't kids. All right. Number six. How do you feel about open relationships? How do you feel about uh, protected sex? That ain't that. There's a difference between an open relationship and protected sex. I didn't ask you, do you use a condom? I said, how do you feel about open relationships? Right, he had a bigger I vision. asked you, how do you feel about protected sex? Are you having unprotected? If you my man, now if we having an open relationship, I gotta wrap up with everybody because I don't know who you it's dealing with. Now you don't know who I'm no dealing open with. Relationship, I ain't just your man. I mean, but you can also say you can also say that you're not into open. You're not into that at all. If you're not into it's, that, it's you're... not a bad thing as long as you using it safe. You feel me? Because I don't, I don't need no STDs or nothing. You feel me? I can't have you coming back to to the crib and you giving me shit. No, I feel that. So, I feel that. I don't give a fuck what you do. Really, just don't give me no STD. Okay. okay. Uh, personally, I'm not with the open relationship stuff. But if we doing it like together. And I feel like you could go bring a girl into it. Like, I fuck with that. Okay, if we and, talk about it, right? Yeah, and, I tr and you could trust me. I done did it before, so. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well. No, nah, threesomes. Oh, everybody do. That's what I'm saying. If I had to eliminate, it would have to be either number three or number five. Number three, because he is just very sassy. He's sassy, too. <laughs> like, this is the second time you done got smart with me. I'm just over here doing oh, my little job. I you asked you if we get married. Oh, you did say that. Yeah. I'm sorry, number five. You gotta go. <laughs> hey, the one who asked me about a condom. <laughs> oh, that's number six. That's number six. Bro. Oh, that's number six. That's six, but that's five. That's six. No, y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta remember that four got eliminated, and that's five, and that's six, and that's seven. What's your whole thing? Oh my god. Oh, come, oh my, <laughs> come here. Oh my god, you're cute too. I'm so sorry. I just didn't like that. I just asked you the one question and you started talking about an STD and stuff like that. I'm just like, nah, I'm talking you. about an open relationship. Nah, you feel me? We could be open, but if you being open, you got to use protection. You feel me? We can't be... But I feel like everybody shit. using protection. Even if we even if we not even in an open relationship, you should be protecting yourself in general. Like, that shouldn't even be a thing. I mean, if I'm in a relationship, I'm not using protection. I feel you. I feel you. You are a cute man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just didn't like your response. Yeah, I like you your pants, though. You're great. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out Extravagant Interior. All right, next question. Y'all ready? Yeah. This is a really good one, y'all, so listen up. How many bodies is too much for someone to consider? Wait, how many How many bodies is too much for someone you're considering to take serious? Sheesh. How many bodies? And be honest. And actually, before I ask, how many bodies do you have? <laughs> hey, that's a real question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm asking I'm asking all y'all, and don't lie. How many bodies do you have? And then, and then, how many bodies is too much for you to take a girl serious? I don't even know. I am I lost count. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I lost count. And, all right, and how many bodies is okay for a girl to have, to to be with you? Like if I tell you I fuck twenty niggas, you know, no. like that's cool. No, no. Twenty. Like mind, I'm, I might look young, much. but I'm I'm twenty nine. I turn twenty nine in like a few days. I'm a that's cancer. A body at, nah, um, that's too, too much for me, 29. 29 with a dub? That's a great number. 
So, so how many bodies have you had? Bro, bitches got. I lost I count. And how many bodies is okay for you to date me? Like, if I like, what's the number? I'll say ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Ten, is, ten, ten is, is too much. He said nah, that's ten, his like. You can have don't, two more than ten is too crazy. Think, so anything under ten, you good yeah, with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, contestant number two. Can't just be giving it out. How many bodies do you have? One to start off with, if you feel comfortable saying it. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know, but I'm up there though. For sure. Yo, what? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, I can't that, even hear y'all. No, nah, I'm saying I don't know my exact number, but I got a lot. Like, I'm up Is it over 50? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's fat. <laughs> I can't, bro. And, I'm not even gonna lie. That's 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 light. But, so why yeah. is it all right? And but, um, so uh and how many bodies would a girl like how many bodies do a girl have to have for you to take her serious? I'm not gonna lie. I really don't care about the number as long as you don't bring it to me. Like if, if you got 50, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> Don't let me know. Because she like, might have been a hoe back in the day. Huh? Like I might have been a hoe back in the day. If you was a hoe back in the day, listen, yeah, and then now I'm grown, I'm mature. All right, wait, time out, time out. Hold up. What if you? What if like you knew she had a whole face? Like you knew her at her. I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with hoes before. I'm not gonna lie. So like, if you was a respectful hoe, yeah. But if okay. you was one of them hoes, ah, like bro, like you put me in a predicament. But if you was a respectful hoe, low key and all that, I'm cool. Bro, all right, it's hoes out here who right. easy, right. but they're not outside. Like you don't know. Oh, she fucking. Right. Okay. It's bitches out here that you they fucking on the gram and Twitter. Tight. That's not the hoe I like. Yeah, I was about to say, oh, you oh, so you like a secretive hoe. Okay, you like nobody know your hoe. No, nah, like a couple yeah. niggas can nobody know. Nobody like, know if she a hoe world, for real. The I world like, don't got to know. I like that. Yeah, I like that. All right, contestant yeah. number three. Didn't three get eliminated? Yeah, whoever the next no, one is. Oh, contestant number three. Can you repeat How many the question? bodies is too much to date? And then also, what's your body count? One more time, they talking, I can't hear you. So first to start off, what's your body count if you feel comfortable saying it? Um, I don't really remember, but it's up there over like 120 some. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I'm in a triple so how many bodies would I need to have in order for you to take me serious? Like, is it, you know, how you, how you feel about one night stands? <laughs> I, I've, I, I have never had a one night stand reason being is because. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on. What'd I've you say? never had a one night stand because I'm more of a different type of a girl. I don't just have sex with people just off of how attractive they are. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? And I also don't get uh give my pussy up off of how much money somebody has. I give my pussy up depending on how you make me feel. Okay. And I feel like a lot of times when you yeah, meet I'm somebody on the first night, it's right. typically just oh, money oh, and you're oh, drinking. Oh. So I've never done that before. You never did it before? I've never done it before. All right, so I'm a hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say no higher than 30. Okay, I like that. No higher than 30. Are you lying to me? I'm being honest. You said you like honesty. Okay. All right. Number like next me. next one. The next guy. How many bodies is too many for someone you're considering to take serious? And also, how many bodies do you have if you feel comfortable saying it? Okay, that's good. That's not bad. Oh, wait, for, for a girl? Okay. 25. That's what I'm saying. Like, ne next contestant. Uh, honestly, um, I don't like to disclose my bodies on the internet, but I'll let you know in private. Okay. Um, and then for a girl, it don't really matter like how many bodies you got, as long as like they not coming to me type shit. Also, shit, we're like. I'll be on the internet, I, you be on the internet too. So I don't want nobody coming like, bro, I done fucked this bitch. I got videos over and all the cool shit. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that is a bad joint. That's a it bad joint. So like, so like, if you cool, I say you got like 30 bodies, but shit, you been cooling with them joints, nobody coming to me, fuck your bitch. I ain't even tripping. All right, okay. Uh, my, this is a question I just wanna know. Why is it okay for men to have like a lot of bodies, but it's not okay for a woman? Listen, like right. why? So you need your front door of your house, right? Yeah. So like, there's a bunch of keys in the world, and like only one really fits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, imagine a bunch of keys fitting as one door. <laughs> I like, feel you. Damn. Damn. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I get it. All right. Peace of mind. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, All right, so somebody, somebody gotta, gotta go. go. Hey, wait, oh somebody God. gotta go. I'm so sorry, number one. Thank you. Damn. You gotta go. <laughs>
Cause I didn't like your response at all. You didn't. You said you 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 said you don't even know how many how many girls you did it with. Yeah, and then you said that though. No, but then he gonna say he got a problem with my stuff. Oh, you got a problem with my <laughs> stuff, but you didn't did all. You got to go. I, fair is fair. You yeah. ain't fair. Come around. Yeah, you gotta come around. Come on. <laughs> oh look at that rolling through! Oh my god, it was you! How did I know it was you? See, I should do the handicap, cuz. See, I should do the handicap. You must cool this shit. I'm so sorry. What's going on with the dress? I got dress. That's really the new thing. Oh my god, y'all keep his chain. I ain't never seen that. The chain, yo, we, yo, we got the chain with the door. I like it. We gonna, we gonna talk. <laughs> See, he trying to add another body already, right? <laughs> In a wheelchair. How do you do all of that? I am curious how you get around. Yeah, like do girls have to sit on you? Like do you ever do you do you like do you do you do them from the back or they just gotta Alright, alright, I I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Alright, next question. How do you feel about me being close to my ex-boyfriend? Well, my ex-girlfriend, my ex-boyfriend, either one. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't care. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm cool with some of my exes. I can't really trip about that. Red flag, <laughs> red flag. You cool with your exes too? We was friends first, like I'm not about to, you feel me? Next, next person. Wait, come on, come on, come on, I got a question. Would you cut her off if she says so? Yeah, if I said I didn't like your ex, I don't like how your, your, your energy is, would you cut her off or, I'm gonna give you three scenarios. Would you cut her off? Would you keep her? Or would you still sneak around and keep her and lie to me and tell me you didn't cut her off? It depends on where we at. Like, me and you locked in and you feel as though that's a problem, I would respect what you got going on because if the shit was on the other foot, I would want you to do the same thing. Okay. But, like, if you nutty about the situation, I'm like, damn, I don't fuck with your ex. He's too friendly. And you like, you get caught sneaking around and shit, I'm gonna play how you put Right. Okay. Next, next person. What was the question? Um... <laughs> How do you feel about me being close to my ex? Do y'all have kids? <laughs> well, I have no children, so I'm gonna say no. All right, so y'all don't have kids. That's still cool. I'm gonna keep it a being with you. I don't really do the whole you cool with your ex situation, cause right. then that leads to dramatic things. You right. feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I want to keep you happy. Yeah, ex for your reason, you feel me? Right. So I, like I ain't really you. fucking with that. I'm gonna keep it a being with you. Next person, how do you feel about me being close to my ex? Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> you gotta go. All right, next, the next person, how do you feel about me being close to my ex-boyfriend? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, that's runs. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, like, like my man said, it's too much drama, and then I'm giving you all you need. You don't need to talk to your ex. I'm your best friend. This was very easy. Whoever said that you was cool with me, Brock, my wife, you gotta go. Cause you don't care about me. I can't be with nobody who not. You like, what you mean I could be cool with my ex and all of this and all that? You got to go. Wait, which one? The one who said the last one. The last one? What was it, number six? Number six? No, number five. Give me the mic, give me the mic, give me the mic. I'm sorry. Why are you just letting me rock? Why are you just throwing me to the wolves like this? You got talking to somebody. I say, what's up? Oh my God, come on around. Hey, so if you my boo, you got to be crazy over me. You can't be letting my, you can't be just letting my ex, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I get what you say, but Sharon is Karen. Sharon is Karen, yeah, no. Yeah, no. I, I'm gonna cheat on him with the milkman, the mailman, any man. He ain't on my body too much. I need a man to make sure I'm secure. All right. Yeah, what's your ideal date? Like, if you had money and you, you know, you was able to do your biggest one, what would you do? I'm not gonna lie, we gotta do something interactive, like arcade. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to go skydiving, but a lot of girls don't be with that. But that'd be a fire. I'm date. going skydiving next week for my birthday. Oh, that's fire! Yes, so, I'm crazy. I like stuff like that. Oh, see, we could do some shit then, cause yeah. I like doing adventurous shit. Like, we could go out to eat and all that shit after the adventure. Like, out to like, eat is so boring. It's so basic. Saying. Like, everybody do that. That's yeah. why we gotta do the adventures first. But okay. I'm not gonna have you outside and not feed you, so we do the food after that. Right, right, right. Okay, I like that. All right, next person. Can you repeat the question for me, please? Yes, describe your ideal first date. First date? All right, so it's first date. I'm a chef, so like I can cook and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to cook you from breakfast to lunch to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that going out to eat. I make my own food. So okay. we going we gonna to do that. Um, you said you like crazy shit. I ain't going to lie. I never rode in an airplane before. I mean, a helicopter. I never rode in a helicopter. So we can take a little helicopter ride over the trees, you know, a little land and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? All and right. Then, uh, next contestant. She wasn't trying to none of that shit. <laughs> so you said, you said that money not an issue? Yeah, like if you got like you got your own bread, like you really up with, with the paper, right? If I'm really up, then I feel like then we we about to do it big then. Cause we if money ain't an issue, then we about to travel. Like I'm trying to go to places and do what's like popping there. Like you know in Turks and Caicos, like the water really nice and all that cool shit. Yeah. Like I'm trying to go snorkeling out the tor the Turks and Caicos and shit like that. Then probably go into Jamaica, do the water river rafts, all that cool yeah. shit. Yeah. For our birthday. No, that's a that's a that's a good that's that's a good that's a date. He said everything Trick. right. I'm not tricking. That's my girl. No, that's a good joy. That's a great joy. She said the first date. My first date. I went out. My first date with a man. He took me to San Juan. We went out to dinner. But I met him at this club. Whatever. His birthday was next week. He asked me if I wanted to go with him to San Juan. I didn't even know I'm up a can of paint. Oh, I shit. just went. That was our first date. I thought she. I thought that she was my girl. I, I didn't know. That's what I'm saying. Saying. I thought she was my girl. <laughs> it was his birthday next week. Granted, but. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm so sorry. Whoever the chef was, you gotta go. I said uh, our ideal date. Give me the beginning, bro. Hey, fuck, give me the mic. I said our uh, ideal date. You talking about you gonna keep me in the house? You like, you you keep me in the house for? I don't care if you a chef or nothing. Hey, I'm a porn star too. Dick big, slinging all that. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, no. You sure you want? What's up, boy? Let me see. Is it? Let me see. We want. Oh, oh, this. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really like that you a chef though and stuff like that. But I just like if we're gonna go on our first ideal date, why you still keep me in the it's house? It's our first date. I never, said, no, I never said. I never said we was going, going, going in the crib. Like, we I never going said we was see? going in the crib. See, if you was asking these questions, you would find out more. But you want to be. Uh, my bad. My bad. These niggas ain't doing it like me. I'm saying. I just. I just. I just assume you was trying to cook me in the crib. I'm on a. Caesar. And so you could get some quick pussy afterwards. You know, I want to go outside. Like, yeah, we was outside from the get go, but you. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But you cool. Shit, I don't even want to leave. Everybody I got, got do some dick <laughs> right now. <laughs> Everybody got dreads. There's a style. Yeah. All right, so wait, we got it. It should be two left, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so for this last round. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, you told me. Oh shit. Yeah. Alright, so look, for this last round, right? It's just gonna be a one minute convo. Okay. What do I get to say? They get to say whatever. If they get to lead it. Alright, y'all get to say whatever y'all wanna say to me this time now. Damn. Who's starting off? What? You gonna throw me in the oh, alright, we got it. Big green bean. Alright, let me know when to start. We're good. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. All right. So first of all, how your day going, yo? We just started doing a video and all that cool yeah, stuff. My but day is going great. Thanks for asking. I ain't even gonna lie, like your your voice match your body, like you look how you sound, cause you sound. Mm, oh my god. Really? My voice is raspy. I got a raspy. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie, I like the little like you from Philly? Yeah, I'm from Philly. Yeah, from I like the little Philly shit going on, cause I like the you know I like I ain't gonna lie, I just got out of a relationship. If I show you pictures of me, when I be walking down the street, people from high school, they say like, damn bitch, what happened? Cause you changed, like you glowed up. I lost a lot of weight. A lot. So that ass fat then? Yeah, I lost a lot of weight. And when people see me, they be like, what the fuck happened to you? So I am, bro. That... I was in a two-year relationship, and it was very stressful, and I lost a lot of weight in the midst oh, of I'm it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That... Oh, well, it's a good and a bad thing. I mean, at least you lost weight, but I'm sorry that you had to go through that, though. Yeah. Dang, bro. I mean, what you do for content, though? Um, I'm pretty much, I just talk. I'm a real bitch. And I've noticed that a lot of people would prefer a lie over the truth. I get on social media and I talk about the good, the bad, the ugly that goes on with my life. Um, and people like it. People think that I'm interested. I'm also really big into fashion. Okay. Um, yeah, so you be go, throwing that shit on. Yeah, boy, if we go out, I might be a little drippier than you. Oh, no, of course like, it's drippy over here, too. Yeah. You know, but, they fuck around and say, I can stand up in the lake over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Time's up. All right. Next person. Next person. You can ask me whatever you want. How you doing? You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. I didn't get your name earlier, so can it's we start Monet. with that? My name is Monet. Monet? Yes. Uh, how you doing? My name is Melvin. I gave you my nickname earlier. Nice But um, where are you from? I'm from Uptown. Uptown? I ain't gonna lie. I went to school up there. What school you went to? King? No, I went to Parkway, but they moved it next to King because it was in Hill Freeman. Oh, all right. You only got your minutes, so you better say something. All right. Damn, I was trying to get to know you. We, we talking. <laughs> but um, so outside of content, 
Like, do you do anything other than content? Yeah, outside of content, like I said, I'm a certified masseuse. I've been a certified masseuse for four years. See? I love to do that. I have my own studio and things like that. Um, besides that, like I said, I'm more so just really into the money and stuff like that. So I get paid for social media. I do my massages. Other than that, I like to have a good time. I'm not here for the drama. I'm not here for the none of the bullshit. I like to have a good time and make my money. That's literally it. That's a minute. Uh, damn. Right, so look, I have one more we, question. Hey, look, before we made the decision, right? Contestant number one, why do you think she should pick you? Well, I'm not gonna lie. She said she like to have fun, and I'm pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And I ain't no, I don't bring a lot of drama enough. I be chilling. Like, I get my money, I go in the crib, do my little fun activities, and I content create. I don't do too much. All I right. know that's right. All right, contestant number two, why should she pick you? Uh, she should pick me because I believe that we got some fun together. She seemed like a little vibe and all that. And uh, we, I do content, so I think we can make amazing content, make some money. So we got two creators. I know, I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all both is, I really like both of y'all. Everything that y'all saying. But if I had to pick, I would probably pick six. The last, what's the last one? What's the last number? Is it seven or six? Six. Seven. Six, seven. 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 seven is the one that I'm going with. I liked him, Get I liked his vibe, in. I liked his personality, I liked his voice, I liked his name. For seven? Oh no, wait, wait, I want, I want the person that you eliminated to come up first. But you were cool too, I liked you too. It was a hard choice. Other side. Oh. He got me with skydiving. We can still go skydiving, no, we right? Still go we can still go skydiving. How you doing? Hey, probably somebody with no drags. Uh, how you doing now? Yeah, you seem like a cool guy. You seem fine. Yeah, I'm, sure you me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm That's sorry. Cool, we can still go skydiving. Yeah, we, we can still, we can still. Watch out, sit your way down, you feel me? All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he like, <laughs> girl, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get mom. <laughs> trying to get mom, but it was nice to meet you. It was nice I mean, to I'll talk to you too. also. Yeah. All right, oh, yeah. give it to the winner. Uh, here you go, my boy. Yeah, All right, it's the winner. Man. Hold on, come on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, yeah, hey, you cute. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked your. I really liked your responses and everything that you were saying. It was giving me very good. Oh, man. fit hard. I told. Didn't shit. I tell you? I said if we go all on probably go style and profile better than you. Nah, but you now I like your outfit too. Now you doing it better than me right now. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Cute. Okay, this is good. Did yeah. you Thanks for adding me. Thanks for adding me. Uh -huh. I nailed my uh -huh. man. You want some kids? Huh? You want kids? Yeah. <laughs> shit. I, I ain't trying to jump the gun. What are we doing now? I can leave with it. Like. We out, we out. Wait, hold on, you already know how we get oh, it. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Hey, just like that, we made another match. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. We're gonna be right back.